What it do, what it do, fam. It's your boy King D Light. And I'm coming back with another video. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new, you know what this channel is about to do. All right, today I'm going to talk about. Uh, well, we're going to look at a video, and it's coming from. What was that? Law and Crime. And shout out Law and Crime for this video. It's about a woman. It's actually a reaction video about a woman who out of Ohio, out of Chester, um, what was that, Can't, uh, somewhere Ohio, and they'll mention, it's in Ohio, shout out, and uh, it's kind of gruesome, no, it ain't kind of gruesome, it is gruesome, because of the fact that she ate a cat, killed the cat, ate it alive, gross, hmm, Take the cat's head off and begin to eat it. But there was other bizarre behaviors. And you're going to see, even in the calls, even on the video. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. Let me see. Here we go. Here we go. Extra gruesome. Because what this woman allegedly did was murder a cat. And if that's not enough, she wow. also ate it. She destroyed that cat. Yeah. This is f First responders found this woman on the scene covered in blood with cat hair still stuck to her lips. It was so disturbing, it even shook up veteran officers. As long as I've been a policeman, I've never had a call where someone was eating a cat. This wow. case is out of Canton, Ohio, about an Canton, hour Ohio. south of Cleveland. On August 16th, just before midnight, 911 dispatch there got a disturbing call. 911, where's your emergency? Hey, uh, I'm in Jackson, Sherry, and I have a, um, I have a black woman that's tweaking out real bad. She's on drugs, real okay, bad. What's your address so I can get the block range? Uh, 19, uh, 11, 19. Jackson shirt. The caller reports a woman who he says is tweaking out after probably taking some drugs. You've never seen her before? No, I've never seen this lady in my life. Okay, did you see what you she was wearing? Phone? Is that who you're talking to right now? Yeah, she keeps grabbing on to people. And she's just eating random stuff off the floor and seeing stuff. What is she wearing? Uh, a sundress with flip-flops, like, like, um, gold slides with a sundress, it's like rainbow sundress, okay. yellow, green, blue, orange. The person he's describing is 27-year-old Alexis Farrell, but the caller doesn't know that yet. He just knows she's getting too close for comfort. You can even hear this on the call. What? In my mouth. What? Okay, and you've never seen her before and she's just grabbing on you? Yeah, she grabbed on my, uh, my lady too. She couldn't let go for a minute and she walking up on me right now. You need to back up. <laughs> okay. All right. And right there, you see right there, definitely she got a problem when she's grabbing on folks. And right there while he was on the phone with 911, the lady was grabbing on him. At that time, he was saying she was eating random stuff off the ground, off the floor, or whatever, you know. And Yeah. Nah. Yeah, definitely, definitely something's going on. But um, let's listen further on. I'm going to get someone out there. Did she come out of 1133? No, she just came out of nowhere. So that call was disturbing, but more calls come in that take it to the next level. 911, where's your emergency? Hi, I need an ambulance and police. Don't come over here. This girl is, um, I don't know, she's out here on drugs. Don't or something, she's um, don't pulled the head off of her cat. Uh, she Let's says she took ice. Her. I don't know. We just need somebody mm. like to come get her. Thing. The calls keep coming in that Farrell is outside eating a cat. Dispatch even hears from her cousin, who says Farrell was performing this disturbing act live on Facebook. I just was watching a live video of my cousin on Facebook, and she's down uh, at her house. She killed the cat and is eating it. I need medic, uh, police and um, medical. Why do you need medical? Uh, I don't know what she took, what kind of drug she's on. Right here. 
They say her cousin was seeing it on Facebook Live. Wow. I mean, it was being recorded. Wow. And her cousin, I don't know exactly how, what would I do. How would I act if I seen one of my family members committing some, such a gruesome crime? But, yeah, she did the right thing by calling the police, calling 911. Let's see. So you're, so you're saying she's on a live video eating a cat. So you're saying that she's at 1310 Row Court? Yeah, Southeast, Canton, what's, Ohio. What's her name? Alexis Farrell. I'm sorry, say that one more time. Alexis Farrell. Her cousin says before Farrell started eating the cat, she ate something else that is also a bit disturbing. I know my cousin just called me and, she, you know, she was the one who told me to go look at the video, whatever. Okay. She said she just left her house not too long ago and she said she just came, came downstairs out of nowhere and was tweaking. And she's like, I don't know what she was on, but she ate a spider off the wall and now she's eating a cat outside. There's a right there, they just said she ate a spider. Another 911 okay. call that comes in too, requesting both police and a medic. What does she need a medic for? We um, she's um done pulled a head off a cat. She done killed the cat. She, okay, um, yeah, we have police on the way for that. Why you wouldn't send a medic? Why are we sending a medic? Because she was eating a cat. Oh, oh, oh and we said we we send we send police for something like that because that's more of that's more of a. It's more of a mental down. health issue, and it's it's a it's a criminal issue too for animal cruelty. This caller says that in addition to killing and eating a cat, Farrell also said she killed her own children. We need somebody to come real bad because she's been down here talking about how she killed two kids. Canton police arrive on the scene just before midnight, and all this is caught on body camera video. Arrive with her and the cat. Right away, the officer is in shock, asking Farrell what she just did. What did you do? Why did you kill the cat? The officer tells Farrell to get up off the ground. Stand up. By now, a small crowd has gathered around Farrell, and they tell officers about her other threats. She said she killed two, two kids. But before officers can learn more about that allegation, they have to cuff Farrell. Put your hands behind your back. It's really clear from early on, it's not safe to touch Farrell because she's covered in blood. Someone got rubber gloves, she's covered in blood. After all this, Farrell is finally handcuffed. What about you got gloves? Mm. You got rubber gloves. Yeah, check. Another one. I this is a very sad situation and then they're saying that you know she killed her that she's saying that she killed her two children um you know later on down the video we know that um well i know i remember a guy came out and he got the family member on the phone that the children are with thank god that she didn't kill them because no nah, they were, you know, with the family member already when all this was going on. They were um, with the family member. And the guy confirmed it with the family member on the phone, said the kids are with her and they were safe and sound. So we thank God for that. But um, here, yeah, they took her in. And she, wow. I mean, I can't imagine this. If this could have been, if this one of my family members or not, you know, if this was one of my family members, I, I wouldn't know exactly. I would have called 911 as well. I would have started praying and rebuking and binding up whatever it is that got her mind captivated or their mind captivated. Because this is spiritual warfare. Yes, it is. The Bible tells us we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That means no human thing. But, and it reminds me of this thing that happened in, uh, what was that? 2012, um, 
where this 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 guy he got hold to some type of meth, crystal meth, or they they consider called it bath salt or something. It was crystal meth, I believe, and it got him tweaking out just as they say she was. He went out on the highway, butt naked. And started eating another homeless man, eating his face off. And about time the EMS, you know, came, they tried to tase him and all that. He was growling at them. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still getting over a little cold. And uh, he had flesh in his mouth from the man's face. And this is kind of giving me that type of vibe, making me wonder. What type of drug, if she was on meth or, or something, something that, you know, would make you do something, you know, this outrageous. So that's what, you know, I'm thinking. So definitely she's going to have to be examined for that. You know, if it's mental health or drug, but it sounds like she got hold to something. Well, I'm going to be praying for this lady. I'm going to keep praying for her. I'm going to keep praying for the family. Pray for her children. Wow. You can't imagine. I mean, woman eating a cat. Eat the cat. Rip the cat's head off alive. Eat it. She still have fur on her mouth when they, they you know, came and and looked at her before they come. She still had fur on, in her mouth. On her mouth. Yeah. Definitely we got to keep praying for her. This your boy D. Just want to let you know I love you. Nothing you can do about it. Definitely God loves you. Nothing you can do about that either. Because he loves us all. He loves her. Let's pray for her. You know. Pray for our family. Remember, take care of each other. Take care of yourself and each other. Till we meet again in the next video. God bless you and peace.